Good evening and welcome to please consider coming to my restaurant or not. My name is Morris Brickerbrack, your host for the evening. Hello everyone. The year is off to a good start at the Hugh and I in it with a good weekend of business and a very nice live jazz last Saturday by Dr. Michael Sayeri and Milk Bone Jazz. Fida Sayeri is only a senior in junior high school, but she is coming of age as a heroin addicted lesbian jazz sax performer. Fida will be studying in Liechtenstein for the next four months, but I expect that Dr. Mike will find another heroin addict to fill in, even if it is just hillbilly heroin, or not. Although this is not necessarily an easy task at present, and Fida's veins will be hard to fill, I hope to book Milkbone Jazz every four to six weeks in the future. Or not. Last Saturday was a really special evening for the band, the Hugh and I Inn. And the colourful crowd of smacked out underage lesbians Fido was so kind to bring. Well, of course I didn't offer them pimps, cups. Oh, not because they're underage. Because I hear that liquor plays hellfire with their white whore. Uh, their white horse. Their lesbo drugs or not. We will continue this week with our usual routine of pub dinner specials on Thursdays, live music on Friday, and fine dining specials on Saturdays. We will have everything. Our day will come. Our day will come. Cole Ezra will come or not. We start each day with our half price happy hour, which offers a nice selection of insubstantial appetizers and drinks. All at half price or not. This week's happy hour appetizers are Port Noise Complaint Hummus. Fried Rococo Balls, Sea Urchin Sausage Freakout Bruschetta, Sausage Filled Psilocybin Mushrooms, Q-Lion and Poutine, Critter Skewers, and our Mini Braunschweiger, uh, known as a Shifty Special in honor of Shifty Levine, the inventor of the personal Braunschweiger. At Shifty Levine's last resort on Screech Owl Avenue here in Brighton, Kentucky. Uh, you may not know about poutine. Poutine is a French-Canadian dish consisting of French fries, uh, smothered in gravy with fromage de Francais. This fast food dish can now be found across Canada and is also found in some places in the northern United States. No, not. It is sold in a small greasy spoon type diners. It's also found in little diners, commonly known as uh, a cantine au cascoute in Quebec. And in pubs, as well as by roadside chip wagons, commonly known as Cobonet uh, Patate, literally potato shacks. National and international chains like New York Fries, McDonald's, A and W, the KFC, and Burger King also sell mass produced poutine in Canada. Tuna and poutine includes the savory meat from braised ox tails. If you've never tried this before, this might be your last chance for a while, as I am up to my camisole and tailless oxen. Well, you will either love this dish or you will not. Some people do, but it will stick to your ribs and help you make it to the loo. Or not. 
The pop then is this week are grilled gazelle steak, cottage cheese pot pie, creamy Siemens chowder over creamy polenta, a favorite of mine, and a new rabbit goat stew from Switzerland. A roast oxtail dinner, fish and chips, and an English pop burger. But I love coles, soy milk, tofu, ironic Siemens chowder, over polenta with a semi poached egg on top. It is really delicious. The rabbit goat stew is a recipe from Switzerland, and I plan to have it on the Thursday. E fish and chips are popular, but uh, the burger is great. Or not. If you're in the mood for a burger. Or not. You know, I noticed Chef Nostradamus Pride has changed the uh, accompaniment for some of his fine dining on trays this week, and he now has a new vegetarian offering. Oh, it is a hearty casserole of butternut squash, puffball mushrooms, sun-dried oak leaves, and raccoon cheese topped with pine cones. There are five more delights, including seared elk loin, Scotch Irish perch, roasted duck dynasty breast, braised turtle shank, or filet mignon. Je ne sais pas qui est content. Je ne sais même pas, surtout pas, s'il existait. Oh no! Oh no! The braised collard greens have caught my interest, as I feel they will attract Negroes for the bartender, uh, bar negro, bar negress position. Uh, they are cooked slowly. The greens. Uh, with wild rams, garlic, uh, price slayer pepper flakes, crispy bacon, and a touch of Aunt Jemima syrup. The greens are served with mammy's cornbread, which is meant to absorb the juice from the collards. They are listed as an appetizer, but a larger serving or a smaller appetite might well make them a meal. I plan to have them as a first course on Thursday before my semen chowder. Or not. The dessert list includes a brand new chocolate Mogan David cake. The Mad Dog cake is made with Mogan David banana red, and I don't know if there's any chocolate in it. Well, it sounds interesting. But plus, we have chocolate mousse. Oh, quite literally, a mousse made from chocolate. And pineapple tartar. Oh, it's just a simple dish of fresh pineapple swimming in the blood. All homemade from the best ingredients. Enjoy! Our Friday night music will be provided this week by Dieter Hassenpfeffer with the vocals and the acoustic guitar. Dieter has been singing around town for a couple of years and he did a tour in French Indochina some time ago. Oh, he's, he's not loud. Which is liked by some who prefer not loud music. Well, you know, time and conversation with friends or not. And nor is he constantly jonesing for opiates. Well, spend some time at the United Inn on Friday. You won't be disappointed with Dieter. And there are lots of other things to enjoy, particularly if you come early enough for dinner or in substantial appetizers. A new cover if you bring an employable Negro. The music starts at 9, the kitchen closes at 9.05. Uh, I've been wanting to record this show on Tuesdays in order to send it out on Wednesday. Regrettably, I was away this week, uh, for much of the week, uh, checking the progress of a rare engine being rebuilt for my Devu race car, which placed uh, 109th overall in the, the 24 hours of Le Mans in 1972. The engine is very rare. It was completely disassembled and there is no book to tell us how to put it together again. My kingdom for a Korean Negro car mechanic. 
or not. Anyway, that is why I am speaking to you on Saturday instead of Tuesday. Finally, the race for mayor is really heating up. Lefty Wainwright has increased not only his crack cocaine habit, but his girth as well. I am shrewdly exploiting this for my own profit. And I serve the ox tails to my customers, and I serve the rest of the ox to Lefty. Still, uh, the challenger Floyd W. Root has changed his name to Floyd W. Root Canal and is offering free endodontics to anyone who will vote for him. Well, crikey, the whole town needs the job out of ass to replace their failing molars or not. Well, I think the Hugh Nine Inn has a lot to offer this week and I hope you will come for dinner. For an appetizer, for a dessert, or for a pim's cup. We plan to vary our routine over the next two weeks with one of our ethnic weeks. We will be serving a French colonial menu in January, and also in February, and we will not be an English pub for a couple of weeks, but a Haitian bistro. We have lots of ideas for the menu, but that is another story, and I will tell you the next time. Or not. Oh, please bone up and come this week. This will be a great winter weekend at the Hugh and I did. I am sure. Now, I plan to be a part of it, and I hope that you will too, or not. Oh, you won't be disappointed. But you will be drunker than a lord at a boys' cricket match. Or not. Well, we'll throw an extra log on the fire. The Hugh and Inn will be cozy and warm, and we'll see if you happen to stop by. Try running a bloody restaurant. Go to bloody fucking hell. <laughs>